there are times when you're using an RT graphic web part when you look at something and say, you know, I'd, I'd really like to have that open in Process Book. Either maybe you want to edit it and save the changes, or you just want to drill down and look at this in more detail, more detail than what you can look at conveniently in the RT graphic web part. So in order to do that, you can do what we call the, uh, well, the Process Book round trip. You can either do it from a document library, where you have an edit in process book option, or you can do it within the RT graphic itself, where they have the we have the launch and process book option. Let me demonstrate. I'll go ahead and bring up a whoops, wrong display. I'll bring up a display, and this is an RT graphic display. And one of the options you'll see within here is, as you can see, the launch in Pi process book. So let's say you're looking at this and you decide you'd like to add a couple of new things to this particular display, just choose Launch in Process Book. Like any good web, web application, it's going to warn you. This is something that could be, um, you know, could be dangerous to your computer. And now it's going to go ahead and launch a copy of Pi Process Book. And there's the copy of Process Book. It's a little bit too big to fit on this screen. Let's see if we can reduce it a little bit. There we go. Yeah, uh, this is actually now open up in Process Book. So I've got all the normal tools that you'd have available to you in Process Book. This is going across the network, so it's a little bit slow bringing this up. But if I, as I said, if I would like to make a change to this, you know, if I want to add uh, add something new, I can just draw a new graphic or a new trend or what have you. Now, there we go. That's a brand new trend. I'll go ahead and save this. And now, when I go back to my previous display and I refresh the screen, you'll notice this new addition has been added. There we go. I think this is saved all the way across the network. Let me go ahead and refresh my screen. And let's see if this finds the, uh, the updated SVG file. So, you know, w one of the reasons you would do this, as I said, is to edit. But I think an even more important reason, yeah, there we go. Here's the process book uh, display that's been edited. An even more important reason is there's times when you, you simply would like the convenience of a rich client. So you may be using the, um, the thin client for just day-to-day -day use, but then when you have something that requires extra attention, you'd like to drill down through or maybe use some of the VBA applications within process book, you can do that. Using this, um, using this launch in process book option.